loved, 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 loved this project. It hearkened me back to my earliest memories of loving horror and the macabre and the black and white elements of it. So thank uh, you for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you're, you're a very big fan of, of, of this uh, genre as well. It is. It's, it's really, really beautiful, but it still uh, touches on those, those vintage things that make horror what it is. What do you think are the key elements of horror that, that werewolf by night hits that keeps it in the genre by paying homage to the genre and modernizing it for new audiences. Well, yeah, yeah. I think that's something that um, still, there's a lot of things to still be found out, you know, uh, because uh, we've got such a vivid and, and dynamic visual culture now that, uh, that in a way it's, it's difficult to state uh, fully uh, what, this represents. I mean, um, there's been uh, recently a few films in black and white, uh, but you know, uh, it, it, it that in itself sets a different uh, kind of uh, uh, I don't know relationship, no, as well mm -hmm. uh, with an audience. No, that's something. It's something very different. And I, you know, I one one of the key things of of, uh, of horror and, and horror films is is a. Uh, that what you don't see and what you don't hear is as important as what you see at, and what you hear. So um, I think that 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 is that's something that we see and that we feel. <laughs> rather, it is a very sensory kind of uh, relationship as well with uh, with the, with this genre. No, uh, we feel uh, we're seeing the transformation, but we're definitely not seeing the transformation of the werewolf, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, so it we start to imagine and what we imagine is sometimes worse than what than reality no? so um so it you know archetypically it it, it challenge it, it goes in hand with the with this thing of you know horror is the the sublimation of our traumas uh, the monsters are that kind of uh, a collective kind of um embodiment of of uh, of trauma and uh, and of uh, of fears and uh, and also of moral kind of uh, uh, moral detachments, you know, of, of kind of uh, uh, it's been used uh, politically to ostracize people as well. Uh, so uh, it is it has all those kind of you know um, tangents and, and kind of intricacies. Uh, and so I'm I don't know. Uh, I think that that's something that uh, that this uh, medium length. Film, which they just told me what the the, um, the term is in in English, because in Spanish we use uh, medio metraje, which is a like a, a film that is not longer than uh, not longer than mm -hmm. an hour, and futurette, mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. uh, that's, <laughs> which is a is a, I mean it's a, it is a, a a concept a kind of a format that uh, before it was very common um, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and you know as well we were that way, i mean our grandparents uh, used to be able to see futurettes you know? mm -hmm. so it's it's interesting to see how our relationship with those are right now i know I, that's what I, I particularly loved it just the length of it the 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 black and white the the orchestral score the not seeing the werewolf so for me i was excited to see what was going to happen but for the next viewer maybe it's more fearful and they don't want to see the werewolf and they just want to guess what fear looks like would you want to see the werewolf or leave it to the imagination do you think your imagination of what the werewolf would be is more frightening than what it actually is could be could possibly be yes uh, i don't know how uh uh I don't know. i'm sure there's a lot of people with very vivid imaginations that they're their interpretation of a werewolf is even more scary than I would even imagine or not, and that I would like to hear, you know? <laughs> um, so, uh, so yes, yes, I think it's important to leave that a little bit uh, to the imagination, a little bit uh, open. And, uh, and it's great not to have concrete answers uh, nowadays, especially in this world that we live in. And, uh, you know, in the, in the creative realm, it's important to, to leave things completely open yeah. and, and mysterious and uh and also it leads to to uh i don't know i i, I think it, it can have a very very long life this werewolves 
For sure. Well, thank you for your time. I really, really loved it. I enjoyed it very much. I'm going to have to run it back again. But thank you so much for your time. Thank oh, you. excellent. Thank you.